Hey guys, this is Byron. In this short tutorial, I want to go over uh, some Evernote basics. Evernote has some very strong basic features, but they're not that obvious at first. You can go months, even years, without knowing that you have so much power at your fingertips. So today I want to go over the basics of organizing Evernote. All right, I'll try to go through this really quickly. Evernote, I think, is effective because it is simple. It's basic. But um, if you don't quite know how to use Evernote, then it could actually be a little bit overwhelming because it's really not as intuitive as it, as it could be. But um, very, very quickly, there are three basic elements to Evernote. There are notebooks, there are stacks, and there are tags. Uh, notebooks are a collection of individual notes uh, that you have. So no matter what platform you're using, whether it's your smartphone, your computer, you capture images, uh, whatever it is that you house in a note will fall into notebooks. Uh, when you set up your account, um, Evernote gives you a default notebook. Now I, I showed you in previous videos or a previous video how to establish your own uh, default notebook. In this case, uh, my inbox is my default notebook. That way, whatever I email to Evernote, it falls into my inbox. But, uh, but notebooks are a collection of individual notes. Now again, theoretically, you don't necessarily need to have or understand notebooks, but it's good because you can establish and set up and title notebooks um, to parallel and, and, and mimic uh, uh, organizational structure that you're currently using that you already like. Uh, many many people have notebooks and things set up in the real world. Well, you can mimic that. You can model that in Evernote using notebooks. Okay. Now, let's go on to stacks. Stacks are a little tricky. Stacks are a series of notebooks, two or more notebooks stacked on one another. Now, what makes it hard here in Evernote is there is no identifiable um, uh, link or button that says stacks. In order to create a stack, you can do one of two things. One, you can take a notebook, click on a notebook, and then drag it on top of another notebook. Okay, So you take a notebook, and then you drag it on top of a notebook and you'll notice it'll draw or come up new stack so you wanna name that stack we'll call this stack one okay stack two <laughs> okay so now we have different stacks that are, are set up again stacks are two or more notebooks stacked on one another now the reason why you may wanna have stacks is maybe you have um, broader projects in the real world that you have uh, different items to within that project. Well, in Evernote, you can model that or duplicate that using stacks. So let's say you have a stack for health and fitness. In that stack, you have diet plans. And then you have another notebook that says um, workout plans. And then another notebook that says cardio routines. So you can stack all of these different notebooks on top of each other in Evernote and uh, you can keep it organized under one reference point. Uh, in this case, we have stack one and stack two and you can look at it uh, that way. Okay, now the second way to create a stack is to draw your cursor over a notebook and you'll come to that uh, triangle and then if you scroll down to the bottom, uh, of the list you'll see add to stack then you can take that notebook and add it to a stack now if you didn't know about one these one one or two ways then it would have been very hard for you to figure out stacks I kinda stumbled upon stacks <laughs> by mistake but uh, but once you understand stacks it's actually a very good way to organize uh, Evernote uh, to use effectively last thing you want to know are tags tags are are, are the things that you use to quickly reference or mark an individual note. So let's say I'm doing research on health and fitness and as I find things throughout the uh, like either on the web or in the real world um, what I'll do is I'll make a note uh, and then I will tag that note health and fitness and so what I can do is easily go to the search function and then 
type in that tag and Evernote will bring forward everything that is represented under that tag. Uh, tagging systems, again, are, are a very effective way to, to utilize and leverage Evernote. So again, in recap, there are three basic elements to Evernote. You have notebooks, you have stacks, and you have tags. All right, guys, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, whatever you do, live generously and finish well. Peace.